Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to the Outdoor Coffee and Cooking channel. Today, we are out in the mountains of Idaho, way up high. We're like at 7,500 feet or so. Just spending a few days camping out here with some good friends and thought I'd try something new that I haven't tried before, uh, which is doing something sweet in my Dutch oven. So I've got the Cam Chef 10 inch uh, Dutch oven here and just some good old brownie mix. So I know it's probably not quite as in depth or fancy as it could be, but it's the first time and we're gonna give it a shot. It might fail miserably because I don't have a liner for that thing or it might be perfect, so we'll see. Um, so we're gonna just mix it up, put it in there. I got a little fire going. We're gonna put some embers on top, maybe put some underneath to kind of give it a good bake and We'll see how it goes. Um, see if we can figure out how to regulate the temperature because it needs to bake at, let's see, 325 degrees. And we don't have a thermometer, so we'll have to eyeball it. But that's the plan. Let's do it. All right, so got a little pot here. We're going to mix this in. All right, you will need one quarter cup of water. Got that. One third cup vegetable oil and one egg. Preheat the oven. To 325 degrees. All right, do you just mix it all up? Let's go for it. Hopefully, this pot's big enough. I've got the board's tiniest whisk. Okay. So, put the egg in. That goes into the fire. We got our quarter cup of water. And we got some avocado oil. Should work well. What do you think, Denali? Nope, back up. We can't have the egg. We can't have chocolate at all. Okay. Oh, we gotta open this guy. It's brand new. Toss that aside. We'll eyeball the third cup. Looks about good. Put that down. Make sure we don't spill it. All right, that goes in. Okay, set that aside. And away we mix. Get that egg incorporated well. Yeah, it's looking pretty good actually. It's mixing up pretty well. Make sure there's no clumps in there. Ah, there's still plenty of clumps. Hmm. World's smallest whisk is actually working pretty well. Ah, we still got clumps in there. Gotta mix all the way around. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll set that aside. And it did say to like grease the the pan. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of oil in here. <sighs> Blow out the dust. Just a little bit of oil. I should have a little bit left in here. Kind of spread it out and see if that might make it better. Fire embers are looking perfect. Let's drop a little bit more in there. That's plenty. Okay. 
Okay. Put that in the box. The final mix to make sure there's no clumps. Okay, looks good. And it goes. And this might be the best thing ever, or the worst thing ever, we shall see. Needs a little bit of help here. Do not have a outdoor spatula. So we're working with what we got here. Alright, well this whisk has done all it can. So I went and grabbed a wooden spoon. Oh no, I'm being burned alive. Okay, just scoop this out here with a spoon. It's not camp cooking if there isn't a couple pieces of charcoal in there from the fire. Can't miss out on any of this stuff, so I'll do my best to Scoop it all in there. Okay, it's probably as good as we can get. Alright. Well, I think now we're just going to put this lid on here. Make sure it's clean. And we'll pile up some embers on it. And... See how it goes. All right, so I think I found a perfect little spot to set this guy up. So I'm gonna move that. Put some hot embers down there underneath. Good old leather gloves coming in handy. Might want some more than that, but we'll kind of play it by ear. Set that on top, looks pretty level actually. Now we'll pile up some on top. Not too much, but enough that it gets it to that sweet 315 degrees. I need to play around with that a little bit. All right, that might be a good spot to start there. Okay, we'll kind of keep adding embers to it as, as they burn down, but I think we're looking pretty good. All right, well, it's been about 35 40 minutes. Um, I've kind of been checking it throughout. Um, I think this would be the final check. I think they should be done. So let's pop it open, pull those embers off the lid. They look okay, actually. Got a little crust on them. Got my little improvised toothpick. Let's see if it comes out clean. Yeah, that looks pretty good. A couple spots to make sure it's cooked evenly. I think they are done. They look nice. Not bad for a first time. Let's see if they come out of there or if they've burned themselves to the bottom. But I think they're going to be good. So I'm going to clean these embers off of here. Try not to burn myself. And I um, think we're good. I'll scoop some out probably in a bowl and give them a taste. Let's pull some out. Man, they're coming out, I think, really well, actually. Yeah, look at that. Perfection. There you go, perfect slice. To top it all off. Bit of whipped cream. Well, there you go. All right, let's give it a shot. It actually looks like it's perfectly cooked through. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Okay, trying to not try not to burn myself here. Mmm, that's pretty per perfect, I'd say. Actually, not too bad for a first try. I need those again. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mmm. 
Well, that was pretty fun. We should do that again sometime for sure. I think it's time to share this with friends who are just off, out of frame here. Let's do it. If you enjoyed that, um, leave us a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions or comments. I always enjoy that. Um, as well as suggestions for future videos if you have any interests or you want to see specific things being cooked or specific outdoor cooking gear. Let us know. But this has been fun. All right, I'm going to finish this off screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.